autism and anxiety. Mm, welcome back. We have returned to the same place that we were. Yeah, I didn't move this time. We, we were doing knowledge. Doing stuff. Stuff is in... Okay, time to go. Thank you. <laughs> is it up or down? Yeah. I need to know. She just falls to her knees and cries. She's like, I need to know where to go. You're dead. Ooh, you would have been dead. Yeah, it's like the third time I've done that. <laughs> yeah. Throughout this playthrough, I think. It's like third or fourth. She's much similar to a cat. Can turn around midair and fall gracefully onto ladders and not anything else. Comes to ladders, she won't break her arms or nothing. She's fine. Floor? Jump. Nope. Jump, jump, jump. He, he, he. It's like, look, mommy, I'm on it. Oh, yeah, mom's dead. Mommy, mommy. Oh. <laughs> Mom, Catch uh. me. Catch me. <laughs> How do you know that name? Martha. My mother's name is Martha as well. It's like fucking Booster Gold or some shit. That, like, nobody cares. Did I tell you about like how they could have done that better? Like, that section. Like, and, I mean, who the fuck calls their mom by, like, you know, I'm not gonna be like, Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda while I'm fucking dying. Rhonda! Yeah, like, no. no. killing! Martha! Yeah, like, no. What the fuck? Oh. That, that's retarded. So I'm like, if he'd have been like, you know, mom, mom, and then he, then, like, Batman, like, hesitates. Yeah. You know, because, you know, his parents were killed. So he just kind of hesitates because <laughs> he's sitting there thinking, you know, Superman's last person he's thinking of is his mother. Right. So he kind of hesitates, but he's still going to go through it. Yeah. And, like, when he starts to go through with it, and then Lois runs in and is like, no, you don't understand. Uh, his mom, Martha, needs help. Because right. it's a little bit understandable for, you know, Lois Lane to call her Martha. Right. You know, you know, and then it clicks with him, and then he's like, oh, okay, I realize I'm the monster I've become, yada, yada, yeah. yada, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The and lot then, thickens. Yeah, and then, you know, the rest of the movie I happens. I swear, that movie had nothing to do with its original story. No, not at all. Like, None, zip, not at, at least the killing joke, despite the hashtag bat sex, yeah. fin it finished the plot that it set out to emulate. Fucking Batman versus Superman was just like... Oh. And for anyone questioning, no, he doesn't kill the Joker after that. Nope. He should, though. He really no, should. No, later down the line, and I think it is that arc, actually. No, he puts a bullet in his head. Yeah. And it doesn't kill him. It actually makes him worse. Seriously, I mean, I know Batman's against killing, but does that mean he's against the death penalty? Uh, actually, in the uh, Batman Rest in Peace... Uh, arc, mm. like a little section. Uh, Alfred like wrote a book or something. I don't know. The fucking uh, book is like complicated as shit. Mm. Like you barely know what's going on through the entire thing. You can't tell what's real, what's not. Darn British intelligence. Well, uh, I don't remember if it's like Batman seeing it or if it's uh, Alfred wrote the book and you're seeing it. Right. But it's like uh, if he never became Batman. Ah. And it's like he he's a failed doctor. Uh, Selene and Kyle like steals his wallet and like steals like pharmaceuticals from him and shit, huh. like while being checked on. Right. And then uh, that's Catwoman for those of you uninformed. Yeah. Which she is a thief, but she's also a prostitute. Uh, apparently, uh, Dick Grayson, I think, gets captured. No, no, it's not Dick. He he dies during the. Uh, Acrobat thing, mm. you know, like when his parents died, right? And then, uh, is it Jason Todd? You might have been thinking of, <clears throat> and then Jason Todd gets kidnapped by the Joker killer, as they call him. Mm. The Joker killer for like 10 years, and no one finds him, anyways. And they finally caught him, and then, yeah, they gave him the death penalty, right? So, actually, if he never, oh, fuck, I forgot I could double run, mm. but uh, yeah, so it's like. Half of it seems good, but the other half seems really shitty. Right. I was like, okay, that's kind of, you know, okay, the Joker's, you know, not around. That, that's cool. That is a much better world. Yeah. I'm like, it sucks, you know, Jason Todd still died, but... Right. Yeah, because, fuck! <laughs> but Alfred's like, you know, the death, or the lethal injection was uh, too much for him. Right. But I was like, how did the Joker become a thing, though? 
Because remember, it was Batman that scared him, you know, into the thing. I was like, maybe he just, like, tripped and fell into it, like, normally. Right. Just like it was inevitable. Because there have been a few universes without, like... Uh, Owlman's universe is actually a perfect example. He never had anything to do with the Joker, but yet he's still a person. Like, he's still... He's actually a hero. And, well, you know, everyone's reversed in that world anyway. But, like, he still fell into the thing of chemicals. The only difference is he goes by the Red Hood. He never, like, became the Joker. It's just, if you looked at his face, he's still scarred and burned like the Joker is. You know, he's got, like, the green hair and all that shit. He's just, like, trying to stop Owlman and the uh, crime syndicate. Because, you know, villains are heroes in that world for some weird reason. It's a fun alternate story, but it doesn't make much sense if you dig too deep into it. Like, uh, that's the... That's the one where the black Superman suit came from, that kind of shit. I'm sure there's people out there who have heard of Owlman, but not a lot of people have heard of the Crime Syndicate. Fun read. I haven't read it in ages. Also, I think the Green Lantern is like... It's either yellow or orange or something, I don't remember. He's one of the other colors. I don't think it's Hal either, I think it's Kyle. He's red. He's filled with rage. He's filled with emotion. Edge. He has become the Edge Lantern. <laughs> the Edge Lantern. Everything is dark and dead. Prisoner X. I have become Prisoner X. Hey, bitch. Just smacks her. <laughs> yeah, just walks in and just bitch smacks her. Say that in a language I understand. What do you want, my friends? I want you and me in the back. Mm -hmm. Twenty minutes. You'll never see them again. Or thirty. Why did you ask my father? I take a lot of Viagra for a woman. But I'm asking you. I can't stop thinking of Faith with like a really deep, grusling voice now. Cause I can't hear this, so. Neither of us can, I don't think. Yeah. Well. I can bear it. Like, ugh, excuse me. I hear vocals, but nothing to put, like, word to ear. Because if we had it loud enough, it'd be echoing on the mic, and everybody'd be upset at us, and nobody would watch the series, that kind of thing. KSEC HQ. The dogs. Kruger has pet dogs. What kind of world are we living The floor. Uh. <laughs> The door, actually. The you're, door floor. You're close. That threw me off because I'm so used to like, because I thought you were doing that, and I was like, it's the floor. Wait a minute. That was funny. That was fucking a head trip. Wrong. I should get a tattoo of that. Like, that's funny to think about. Like, that's where she got the mark. She just sees it on the walls and shit, and she's like, you know what? I like that. I'm going to put a tattoo of that on me somewhere. A little eye mark or whatever. Oh, that hurt. There you go. That's what happens when you get old. Yeah, Every, old and crotchety. Everything starts hurting. Yep. Ow, my arrhythmia. Yeah. I know, I find it funny because I say, uh, God damn it, I know we've talked about this on the show, but, uh, like, I have a hernia, you know, and, like, old people get that. Yeah. So it's funny that I might actually be like, oh, my hernia. And then people look at me, and I'm, less, I'm like, I'm being dead-ass serious. My hip. Yeah. Back in my day, we used to use processed cheese. Now we take it straight from the cow. We didn't pay for our prostitutes. Our prostitutes paid for the experience. <laughs> That's when women were back in their place. Oh, God. Women washing dishes. I don't give a fuck about you. Be. He was like, I'm over here. And I was like, I don't give a fuck about I've you. I've got a mission. Back in my day, we didn't do missions. We had the... God, I just about got terrible there. And I'm going to stop myself. Yeah. <laughs> The, the woman one was kind of bad. Oh, no, it's because he was black. I was like, we had the color folks do the missions for us. Oh, like, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That I feel was, horrible, that, but I don't care. That was bad. That but, was bad, and I don't care, and YouTube's going to ban us. 
That one was pretty bad. <laughs> it's it's a it's method acting. We we I'm try good, to stay I'm away. good at that. We try. Hey, right, well, I don't know. We make fun of white people too. We make fun of everyone. Yeah, it's I, mean, funny. I mean, no, we make fun of everyone. But I was sitting here trying yeah. to think. I was like, I remember us having this discussion, and we were going through the whole. Uh, you know, once you go black. Uh, you wonder where your welfare check's at. You want your dignity back, that kind of thing. Yeah, and we're yeah. like, uh, once you go white, uh, trailer park in sight. So you go white, you wonder what you're doing with your life. Yeah, we were just <laughs> doing stupid shit like that. So you go Asian, you learn you prefer Italian. <laughs> I think one of my favorite things, this is, of course, this was related to guns. I mean, it was like, why do you carry, you know, blah, 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 gun with like, uh, Two mags, like thirty odd rounds of ammo, and then uh, someone said they're like, you know, how many Mexicans can fit in a car these days? Right. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I was anything? I was like, I don't know. Maybe heat of the moment, you might miss a few rounds, but okay, that that works too. Right. It, there's so many Mexicans in here. It's like Doctor Eggman's mean bean machine. I do not catch the reference. It's a beaner joke. It was just it was just supposed to be bad for the sake of being bad. Okay. Have you never played Mean Bean Machine? No. It's like a one of the classic Sonic games. I've never played Sonic! It well, wasn't really like, a, I'd say it wasn't really a Sonic game, it was just themed that way. It was Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, one of the biggest fucking games on the Sega. I didn't own a Sega. I feel bad for you, because there were some actually really good ones on there. I always preferred the Saturn myself, but I had a Genesis, but uh, never had a CD. I don't know. Can't remember. It's been ages. I think like my sister had the Nintendo and I had the Sega, and PlayStation came about, and I was like, "Ooh, ooh this is much better." <laughs> and they had RPGs out the ass on that thing, and I was like, "I like RPGs." Played a Nintendo had a fuck ton of RPGs. Yes, they did. But like early PlayStation, holy shit, it was nothing but RPGs and occasionally Crash Bandicoot. Uh, and then there's a, more platformers in the beginning and like, like oh yeah, Resident like the Evil and like shit the like that. beginning. But like a little bit later on, dude. You just said shit. near the beginning it was all fucking RPGs. They were like when Nintendo came out, they had fucking RPGs out the hazoo way before PlayStation even came out. Yeah. Freaking, one of my favorites. You're just fucking things. being biased. I am, but I don't care. I like the PlayStation. I like it all. I don't give a shit. I just grew up playing, in, like, my dad bought a Nintendo, and then that's just what I played, because that's what he bought for himself. I do miss Ogre Tactics. Your dad does not peg me as a gamer. Of, like, any caliber. Like, he, he, even touching them. He used to. But I then know. it got to the point where, like, this game would make him sick as shit. Ah. He doesn't do well with high motions. Yeah. yeah I can understand So it was that. like, you know, like the old, you know, Dr. Mario, Mortal right. Kombat. That's all fine and dandy. He probably would enjoy, like, an RPG. Like, you know, like a calmer one. Like, I used to fight him in Mortal Kombat and whoop his ass with the Super Controller, Super Nintendo Controller upside down and me being, like, five. That is the... I'm not lying. I swear the, to God. I actually power of youth. I actually want to get Nana on this show, and she like will vouch for that. I still I can't do it to this day, but for some weird reason, when I was little, I used to think you, hold, you used to have... How you held the Super Nintendo controller was upside down. Ah. Like, I thought that was the right way to hold it. Oh, like having the X here, like the X and the buttons reversed and everything? Yeah, like holding a Super Nintendo controller upside down. Oh, that gave me such and, a damn headache. No, and the irony about it is I hate, despised, to this day, inverted controls. Yeah. And what would that do? Invert the fucking controls. I wouldn't just invert it. That'd mirror that shit. Yeah. It's like, holy Yeah, fuck. but I would whoop, like, my nana in Mortal Kombat, my dad. I uh, beat Mortal Kombat 2. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I was good with it. Who the hell changed you on that? Like, was it just you yeah. finally realized? Or? I, um... I don't remember what happened to our Super Nintendo, uh -huh. but uh, something happened to it, and then uh, like I got a PlayStation, mm. or well, like a Nintendo 64, and then like I got a PlayStation as well, so like I had those two. Right. 
And then, uh, I don't know. And then, like, I just remember going over to Nana's one time and she brought it up. And I was like, yeah, no, I know. I'm going to see if I can try that. And I tried it and I just couldn't do it. And this was like years later. Well, I was saying, I was like, like, oh, what the fuck? What flipped your mind? Like, what was like, oh, this is wrong. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, it was just, like, later down the years, I was like, oh. You just kind of came to the realization you are doing it wrong? Well, I mean, it was just kind of obvious. Right. It was just kind of like, like, oh, yeah, when I was young, I was doing that shit wrong all the time. Right. I didn't know if it was something like Jeremy came by or something. He's like, dude, you're holding that controller upside down. And I'm like, you're just like, I am? And just, you know, oh, that kind no, of thing. Oh, uh, no. This dude I knew named Eric at the time. Yeah. He was always like, you're holding it uh, wrong. And I was just like, no, I'm not. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and then, like, I think even one time, like, we got in a kind of, not a heated, because, you know, we're, like, fucking kids. All right, you're like, dude, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, but a quote-unquote heated argument All right. about it. And I was just like, you know what, even if I am, I'm still beating you, so it doesn't fucking matter. All right. Like, you both are like, all right, I'll hold it upside down, and you hold it right, and we'll see who wins yeah. now. <laughs> and, like, he manages to whip your ass, because it's just easier. If we're a Nintendo controller, I can actually kind of see that. Cause they're the so Super Nintendo. Yeah, because they're like basically mirrored each other. There, tr there's triggers on the Super Nintendo controller. That means I'd have to like move my fucking thumbs and or like pinkies in a weird ass direction to hit the fucking trigger buttons. Cause they'd be below, not on top. Yeah. I was like, you could hit your thumbs like that. That's how I'd do it if I was holding it. Yeah, no. I've done it before. I hate doing it. But... No, no. Yeah. The thing with is how the Nintendo controllers are structured like that. If you held them upside up or upside down, they aren't like, you know, you don't have like prongs sticking out in the end like you would with an N64 or well, PlayStation yeah, or that. So what the fuck with well, I'm saying, yeah, okay, fine, sure, whatever. It'd be fucking easier. But no, you do not understand. You seem pretty much fine. Yeah, when I was fucking little. <laughs> can't do that shit anymore. I probably could. I'd hate it, but I'm sure I could. That doesn't make sense. Like, how she just did that. Getting an extra oomph of jump that's like twice your normal one just because you stood on something. That was an upgrade I got, like, forever ago. Uh, I was just thinking, like, no okay. normal human should be able to do what she just pulled off. That is not a... not a physics-based jump. Or a reality-based, I should say, but... Eh, whatever. Then again, I suppose floating data bits everywhere isn't really realistic either. Runner's vision, however, perfectly acceptable. That yeah. shit is 100% true. Yeah, like if she was wearing like a visor or something, it would make more sense. It's the makeup. She's got it <laughs> built into the tattoo. There's a reason that mark is everywhere. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, like it's just like an imprint data thing. Well, that's a really convenient place to stick you back. Yeah, I'm noticed if I'm on like a mission. They'll just kinda throw you right back up. Yeah. Mm. Huh. Blah. Huh. Mm. Wonder where you need to go. It's red, therefore it's my friend. It's like a cape and a fucking uh, matador bull hunting bullfighting ring. <laughs> He's like, it's red, therefore it's my friend. <laughs> just run over by a bull. And that was the end of Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Yeah, a bull, like one of these rich assholes are like keeping a bull as a pet. Bull in a china shop. On a roof. Fortunately, the bull had no coordination and ran right off the fucking roof. So. It's a win. Like, how's it feel to live in your glass house, motherfucker? It's just pissed off because it's a bowl full of teen angst. <laughs> I don't want to be in this house anymore, Dad. And it just storms down the stairs and runs through the door. Oh, really? Gets like an emo haircut and comes back with like tattoos and shit everywhere. Did we just like open a... Yeah, I guess we did. Just open a new part of the city. The <laughs> cherry blossom part. George Jappen. I am oh, yeah. a part of this city. I missed it. Damn. It is late. Too late. Forever. Is that a tire swing or am I just seeing things? Hmm? I don't even care. I thought I saw a tire swing down there, but I was like, what the fuck? Might have been one of those weird-ass circular chairs. Okay. 
this weird is the weird ass circular chairs. Yep, that was really like fucking. I Are you about the one that uh, Will Smith and all them like sat in Men in Black when they went to like a? Uh... <laughs> yeah, kind of. Like the egg shape. It one. looked like a donut, but a chair to me, and I thought it was a tire swing. If we are back that far, we'll probably see it again. No doubt. It would probably be like right before I jumped. Yeah. Shame. Oh, well. If this game uh, is as copy-paste as everyone calls it, we might see him again. Okay. Hmm. Nice house. These are nice houses. I'm going to look around. Do you think these are hotels? I'm pretty sure they're houses. I mean, this would be one fancy ass fucking hotel. It's a fancy ass fucking house. So. Hey, look, rings. I mean, if you really think about it, there is houses like this. Yeah. Like in our day and age. Rich assholes. Yeah, but, well, okay. Okay. I have a problem keeping fucking roaches out of my house. I wish I lived in something this nice. Grid note. There is a dog tail under the door. I'm gonna Is there it. what? Sophie's got her tail just out of nowhere under the door. Okay, how the fuck am I supposed to accomplish that? Yep, it's gone. I was gonna yank it. Do you need in, Sophie? You don't need in. I just wanna pull your tail. Come here. Yank it. I'm an idiot. While running. Or that. That works too. Yeah. Oh. Tried to wall run again and it failed. <laughs> Talk, you're insane. Oh. Hello, Sophie. Go fetch me a cherry blossom. Find me George Chapman. He owes me Japan. He owes me Japan. He, he is the he's the the forerunner of Japanese economy in America. Do you need in two? Hi. Who is it? The little one. Oh. And the, <laughs> the little one. The Nagas. What? Next time. Apparently, we have animals to tend to. Right. That's the last way.